Blessings to all of you. Uh, this is an opportunity. You know, I think it's a, it's a good idea to meet once a while. It has been very long since we sat and uh, since we shared the space. And I think in this modern world, the most important thing is sharing our spaces with others. We have been isolated, uh, isolated, and um, you know a lot of uh, uh, distance have been created uh, with our loved ones, uh, with our friends due to how the world is moving in this time and space. So this was just an opportunity for us to sit together and uh, share the sacred space in simple, uh, in simple words. So we came up with this uh, meditation as well. It's called the Shaking Challenge. And uh, in this Shaking Challenge, we will be shaking the body for about you know, 20 minutes or so. Let's see how the flow goes. And then we will end with a meditation. So shaking, there's a lot of tension in the body, a uh, lot of weight. Uh, it's called the samskaras, samskaras, uh, the moment to moment, the way we breathe, the way we sit, uh, the way we talk, uh, the way we walk, all these create a pattern. And if we do not come out of that pattern, that pattern becomes our lifestyle. And that pattern creates such a deep imprint in us that we stay in that specific pattern, not just in one lifetime, but for uncountable lifetimes. So what you are doing now, the breath, to the words you're using, to unconscious thoughts that are moving in your head. Everything is contributing to uncountable lifetimes. Everything is happening now. And if you want a transformation in the next moment, or even in the next lifetime, then you have to do something in the now because everything is happening in the now. So this is a very ancient meditation uh, that was learned, that was received from animals. So the universe is willing to give us simple wisdom only if we learn how to see, it's called visions. So the sages of the past, they learned from the trees, they learned from the mountains, they learned from the skies, they learned from the clouds, they learned from the rivers, and they also learned from the animals. So this is the wisdom that was received, bestowed upon us by the animal kingdom. That is shaking. If you have noticed, every animal, you know, if they have sat for long, they will stand up and they will shake. If they had a fight, after the fight, they will shake the body. So that is the wisdom where by shaking the body, you can change your pattern. And the more you shake, the more you move the body, the easier for you to break the old patterns. Now, if you don't break your patterns, they become vashnas, vashnas translated as muscle memory. And when vashnas are not worked upon, they become samskaras, which is your bio memory. And then bio memory continues with you life after life after life. So the shift in the future have to be initiated in the now. And this is an opportunity for you where we will do this simple exercise. We will be standing on our two feet, left karma, right dharma. So both karma and dharma, so we have to stand. So those of you who are with me, please come standing. And hands will be out straight. We will have a model who will be sharing this you know, uh, shaking with you. But before he enters the sacred space, let me just explain to you. 
so you will be standing on your two feet left karma right dharma hands will be out straight and jaw will be relaxed jaw will be relaxed and when the jaw is relaxed okay there's no effort of relaxing just 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 relax the jaw okay like that and there will be a slight opening a natural slight opening in the mouth and as you will be shaking the body the breath will come and go by itself through the sacred mouth so you are not going to inhale or exhale your whole effort will be shaking the body and let the breath come naturally through the mouth and let the breath leave you naturally through the mouth so the moment you relax the mouth automatically there's a slight opening and allow the pavan allow the pavan guru the wisdom of the breath to come and kiss you instead of you inhaling let it be inhaled and instead of you exhaling let it be exhaled it's called sahaja it's called intuitive ease uh, the moment you are at ease with your breath you will be at ease with your mind you will be at ease with your body and you will be at ease with the world simple you just need to be at ease with your breath and normally we are not at ease with the breath okay so hands will be out eyes will be closed now another pointer okay to go deeper into this releasing of the weight releasing the tension uh, releasing the emotions okay which is in the body muscle memory and ultimately bio memory is to imagine that there are scorpions all over your body there are cockroaches all over your body and these are your emotions they are constantly hiding they are not here your emotions are not here your emotions are in the body waiting to reveal itself waiting to conquer you at any moment so my friends imagine there are cockroaches over the body there are scorpions of the body and you have 15 minutes you need to throw them off so shake in such a manner shake in such an intensity that imagine just leaving you so your feet will be grounded rooted anchored and it is suggested that the initiation of this shaking of the body that initiation starts in the knees but if you have knee issues and if you have back issues please adjust the kriya accordingly but in simple plain language just imagine there are cockroaches all over the body what will you do how will you shake how intense that shake will be go into that whole visualization eyes will be closed my friends breath will come and go all by itself your only job is to shake for the next 15 minutes so please come standing and for a few moments i would like to invite alex from russia uh, to show us how to uh, shake the body so please alex come standing so spotlight i believe will be on alex so if you don't if you're not able to look at him you may want to click on to that uh, small camera a small window there and he will be spotlighted so please start rish alex go deeper go deeper go deeper 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 shake the whole body so please look at ah that's it that's it so exactly like this exactly like this beautiful beautiful keep up keep up and just look for look at him for a few seconds to understand what he's doing so the the feet are anchored the whole body above that is shaking so you're rooted beautiful and thank you inhale and exhale good so maybe uh, devi you want to spotlight me now so my friends this is what you're going to do eyes will be close and your timing starts now for the next 15 minutes or so eyes close and just go please start the kriya simple here we go please adjust the kriya accordingly 
And this uh, session is available in Spanish as well as in Russian. So those of you who need the translation, uh, please click onto the link on the right side and you will be able to hear this in Russian and uh, Spanish translation. So beautiful, my friends. We are doing a very simple yet a very powerful Kriya that will change the entire system. It will change the entire pattern. Repatterning of the body, repatterning of the mind, repatterning of your energetic field also. So I repeat, repatterning of your physical body, you keep doing my friends, and repatterning of your mental body and repatterning of your energetic body. Beautiful. <clears throat> Jaws are relaxed. Jaws are relaxed. And let the Pavan Guru come all by itself and give you a kiss. And then as it leaves you, feel the Pavan Guru leaving you. The breath of life coming and giving you a kiss. And as you exhale the breath of life, you are kissing it goodbye. Each breath that comes brings in life. And each breath that goes, goes away with life. You are just an empty vacuum. Life coming, life going. Beautiful, my friends. Eyes are closed. The body is relaxed. Remember, when you are doing this Kriya, the whole body should be relaxed. So don't tense the body and shake the body. <clears throat> the body is relaxed. Initiation of that shaking is from the knees. So knees initiate the move. Knees initiate the move. Everything is relaxed. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. Your arms are relaxed. Your face is relaxed. In that relaxation, you are shaking the body. And as I mentioned, you can imagine there are cockroaches all over your body. And you have about 15 minutes or so to throw them off. How will you shake? How intense that will be? That is the whole idea behind. Beautiful, my friends, keep up. Anytime you're uncomfortable, you relax. The wisdom of the animals, the wisdom received from the animal kingdom. A yogi is the one who learns from the universe, from the cosmos. The trees have given us tree poses. The mountains have given us mountain poses. And now we are learning the shaking pose or the shaking kriya from the wisdom of the cosmos. Beautiful, my friends. Go deeper, go deeper. After some time, become possessed by this shaking. Uh, totally dissolve yourself. The less you are, the more the wisdom will tune itself. The more the wisdom will infuse itself into you. So totally dissolve. For a moment, think that you are not the body, you're not the mind, but you're just the movement of this shaking. You are just a process. You are just the process of shaking. In womb it. Let it infuse you so that your issues and your problems and your emotions can diffuse themselves. Let the wisdom infuse you so you can diffuse all the unwanted weight and emotions that you carry with you. You will feel a light at the end of this. You will feel relaxed. And this is an introduction today. We will be meeting every Saturday for 30 minutes or so. But again, my friends, you can do this every day. The best time to do this is early in the morning before the world embraces you before the light of the sun uh, embraces you, you cleanse yourself, you relax yourself, you become weightless, you become light so that light can be embraced during the day. And the other best time to do this 
while I'm talking, my friends, you keep doing. The other best time to do this is at night, before the darkness, before the primordial dark matter, before Mahakal, the primordial dark space embraces you. You let go of all the tension that you have collected during the day. So the best time is early in the morning before you start your day or at the end of the day, totally leaving the world away, deleting what you have accumulated, becoming a light so that the primordial dark matter, that primordial womb can embrace you. You will have deep sleep. And during the day, you will feel fresh, you will feel light. My friends, if you do this regularly, just this, 15 minutes of shaking the body, your whole life will change. Your whole life will change. Your patterns will change. Your breath pattern will change all by itself. Your thinking patterns, your negative emotions, that emotions which you can't let go will suddenly let you go. I repeat. Those emotions which you can't let go, suddenly they will let you go. They will say, we have had enough. Let us go. My friends, go deeper. Go deeper. How to go deeper? Relax the body and imagine that you have become the process of shaking. So don't have a doer. There's no doer who is doing this process. There's no doer who is doing the process. The process of shaking is happening all by itself. Beautiful. Now feel the sensations that manifest as you have dived deeper into this. Beautiful, my friends. Keep up, keep up. Become aware of all the sensations but don't label them as good or label them as bad. Don't label them. Experience the experience in its neutral state. So nothing is right, nothing is wrong. In this moment, in this moment, what need to happen is happening. It is neither good, it is neither bad. It is neither right, it is neither wrong. Beautiful. Keep up, keep up. <clears throat> Go deeper. Last a few moments. Go wild if you can. Of course, if you have medical issues, you have back issues, you have spine issues, you have knee issues, then please adjust the Kriya accordingly. Beautiful. At this moment, you should be totally dissolved into it. Delete all. Put an intention to delete the unwanted memory and unwanted emotion. All the toxins in the body, from the physical to the mental to the energetic body, all are leaving you. Put that intention. Put that intention. Beautiful. And if the arms get tired, you can always bring the arms down. Not a problem. But my friends, when you hold the arms up, that directly stimulates the nadis, the meridians of the heart center. <clears throat> Again, adjust the Kriya accordingly. We started a bit late, so we may end late today, but be with me, my friends, have an experience. Now, don't think when you're doing this. Don't think when you are doing this. Fill, fill, fill. Don't think, fill, fill yourself. Feel yourself, what is happening, the emotions, the sensations come out of the head, 
come out of the realm of thinking and uh, enter the garden of feeling feeling open up your sensitive space if you are only in your head thinking then you are stuck in your sensory space which is limited because your senses are limited come down and start feeling every sensation and open up the sensitive space sensitive space so shutting down the sensory space and opening up the sensitive space becoming sensitive to all that which is happening in the now in your sensory space you are caught up with what happened in the past and you are concerned what will happen in the future but in the sensitive space okay you are coming into the now you are only concerned with what is happening now so that's why i'm saying come out of thinking and start feeling open up the sensitive space become sensitive now feel the body feel the face feel the skull feel the back and as you dive deeper and deeper into this sensitive space you will also start to feel the aura the auric space around you you know your whole aura now is in dance it's in motion because whenever you do anything in its total alignment which you have been doing now your aura starts to vibrate your auric field starts to stimulate your auric field expands your shield becomes stronger beautiful my friends we are almost done now start feeling yourself even outside the boundaries of your physical body you're more than the physical body you more than the mind and you more feel your moreness feel your vastness feel your expansiveness please start feeling the energy that is a dancing that is stimulating around your physical body you must be able to come out of the body now you must be able to feel the space around your body you're no more limited into you're no more confined into your body and your mind come out and feel the whole eruption the energetic field the electromagnetic field around you have been activated you just activated your electromagnetic field which is the source of your well being physically mentally and energetically my friends please go deeper go deeper go deeper i repeat stop thinking start feeling feeling shut the sensory open the sensitive space sensitive space sensitive space you must be able to feel the sensitive space around you and inside you you are more outside do you know that outside you are more than you are inside as long as you stay inside your body and your mind and you limit yourself you limit your expansion you limit your growth you limit your blooming come on go deeper feel yourself outside feel feel the space outside you it does not matter how far you go but just the space outside the whole aura is in 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 ecstasy the aura has changed electromagnetic field is activated now your electromagnetic field is activated beautiful we almost done my friends go deeper go deeper go deeper go deeper you almost done you almost done keep up keep up a few more moments just some extra moments for you stop thinking start feeling from the sensory space into the sensitive space you're so sensitive that you can feel the rays of the stars you should be you should be then you experience the full blooming of the human incarnation 
you must be able to communicate with the stars. You must be able to receive and download the wisdom of the Akashic records. You must be able to, you must bloom, my friends. You must bloom. And this is the way to bloom out of your smallness, out of your confinement, in the words of the Sufis. Entering the garden of intoxication. Entering the garden of the beloved. What is the garden of the beloved? When you experience yourself outside and the limitations of your body and your mind, feel yourself outside. Go deeper, go deeper. When I say go deeper, it doesn't mean you go in. It means you become all pervading. Go deeper means you are not just inside, you are also outside. The depth is not going in. The depth is measured by going out and touching the stars. When you can touch the stars with your intention, with your intuition, with your electromagnetic field, you have gone deep, it is called. But if you just learn to go into this physical body, you just limit yourself. The idea is to bloom. This is the way to bloom yourself outside of your limited reality and touching the cosmic reality. My friends, go deeper. Feel yourself outside of the physical body. Feel the energy field outside. If you're doing it right, if you have gone beyond thinking, and if you have opened up your sensitive space, my friend, now you will enter a very special space. We call it the sacred space. Now you shall be dwelling in the sacred space. From the sensory space, we went into the sensitive space, and from the sensitive space, we went into the sacred space. Just an extra moment, my friends. <clears throat> this is the first day. Keep up, keep up, keep up, keep up. The last few moments. And I don't know how long this moment will last. It all depends on the moment. Keep up, keep up. <clears throat> okay, last one minute. So those of you who have not worked hard, you are still in the realm of thinking, who are still locked in the, the prison of the mind, have not smelled the aroma of the uh, sacred spice, now is the time. Unless there's a medical reason. Other than that, please go deeper. The last few seconds now. 30 seconds left, shake the body. All the cockroaches have been dropped. And all the scorpions have left you. Feel the lightness, feel the circulation of prana as though you have been pregnant with prana. You have been in womb with the Pavan Guru, the wisdom of the cosmos, the wisdom of the soul, the wisdom of the spirit. What is the soul? What is the spirit? Your breath is the soul. Your breath is the spirit. If there is a spirit, it has to be your breath. If there is a soul, it has to be your breath. We call it the Pavan Guru. Beautiful. Last 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Eyes are closed, my friends. Make sure the eyes are closed. And beautiful, beautiful. And my friends, now keep up, keep up. Good. And mouth closed, inhale through the nose. And hold, arms out straight, hands into tight fist and tense every cell of yours. Tense, breath is held, eyes closed, tense, apply band. tense your sit bones, and tense the two legs, tense your skull, tense your eyes, and tense your face. Medical reasons relax, other than that, through the nose, exhale. Remain in the posture. One more time, inhale through the nose. And hold and hands into a tight fist from head to toe. Just tense every cell of yours. Tense your sit bones. Supply mulban, your premium tight. The premium. 
tight, beautiful. Tense the body, tense your face, tense your eyes and tense your skull, tense your shoulders, tense, breath is held. And through the nose, exhale. Remain in the posture, last time inhale. Hold and please tense the whole body. As instructed, make your hands into tight fist. Tight fist. And tense the whole body as instructed, apply mulban. Your face, your skull, your eyes, your ears. The back of the skull, the back of the skull, the back of the skull, the back of the skull. Tense, tense, tense. Delete the past. Let go of the past. That is the point where you hold all that chains which ties you to the past experiences. And through the nose, exhale. Bring the hands down by your side. Keep standing, please. Keep standing. Keep standing. Keep standing. Don't move. We're almost done. We're almost done. Now, my friends, eyes are closed. And make a O mouth. Make a O mouth. And inhale through the O mouth. Exhale through the O mouth. Inhale through the O mouth. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And hold. And as you hold the breath, tense the whole body, please. Tense the whole body. Tense the whole body. From head to toe, hands are by the side, but in tight fist. You're just standing and tense and tense your spine, stretch your spine. And through the O mouth, exhale. One more time, O mouth, inhale. O mouth, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Forcefully inhale. Forcefully exhale, forcefully inhale, and forcefully exhale, inhale, and exhale, last time inhale, hold and tense the whole body please, tense the whole body, tense the whole body, hands into tight fist, and Stretch your spine as though something from the skies is lifting you up. Pull yourself up, 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 grow, 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 grow. Go, glow, and grow. And through the O mouth, exhale. Last time, my friends, inhale through the O mouth. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and hold. And as you hold the breath, tense the whole body. We are done almost, my friends. So tense the whole body and stretch the spine as though you are growing. Stretch, tense the spine. Your whole body is tensed and it is being encapsulated into the spine. And the whole emphasis is in the spine. And my friends, through the O mouth, exhale. Keep standing, don't move. <clears throat> don't move. Don't move. Keep standing. Let come what comes, let go what goes. Let come what comes, let go what goes. See what remains. Become aware of every sensation. Allow it. Allow it. Neither resist anything. Let what come comes and let go what goes. <clears throat> no power. Stand as a neutral space. Akhna jor, chupe na jor. Jor na mangan, de na jor. There's no power. You're standing 
and allowing the cosmic power to flow itself into you and flow through you. You're not the doer. Allow every sensation to come and go. It is happening to you. It is happening in you. Emotions are coming and going. Sensations are coming and going. Perceptions are coming and going. You have never came and you have never gone. The self, the I, the Atma, the Brahm, the cosmic self, neither comes, neither goes. The self neither comes, neither goes. Life comes and life goes. Emotions come, emotions go. Sensations come, sensations go. Death comes, death goes. You never come, you never go. Recognizing the self, anchoring yourself, <clears throat> abiding in the self. This is called the sacred space. My friends, very slowly, open your eyes and please come sitting <clears throat> on easy pose. We end our session with a small meditation, so we started late, so that's why we are just doing some extra moments, hands in Gyan Mudra, and eyes are closed. <clears throat> you will be inhaling, and you will be reciting Va, the sound of water, and then you will inhale, and then you will recite He, the sound of the air, and then again you will inhale, and you will recite Gu, the sound of the earth, and then again you will inhale, and you will recite Ru, the sound of the fire, and then the silence in between every of the sounds is the sound or the mantra of the fifth element, the Akasha. Okay, so these are the sounds of the five elements, Va, He, Gu, Ru. Eyes closed, spine straight, and inhale. deeper
last round, go deeper. As you hold your breath, apply Mulband and please tense your skull and tense your face and your eyes, tense your spine and hold the sacred breath and feel the sensations, the vibrations, the pulsations, the vibrations and through the nose exhale. One more time, inhale, and hold the sacred breath. And as you hold the sacred breath, apply Mulband and tense your skull and tense your eyes and squeeze and tense yourself into your spine. Hold the breath. As you hold the breath, you hold life. And when you hold life, you become alive. And it's it. Last time, inhale. And as you hold the sacred breath, apply Mulban, <clears throat> tense your skull, tense your eyes. And squeeze yourself into your spine. Hold and exhale. And just for 10 seconds, don't move. The space created by the Kriya is more important than the Kriya. This is called the sacred space. You came out of your sensory space and you touched the sensitive space, the doorway, and then the sacred space. We share this sacred space. The sacred space is within you and you are within the sacred space. The sacred space is within you and you are within the sacred space. With this realization, inhale and hold and exhale. Very slowly open your eyes. Satna. So blessings to all of you. We come to the end of our uh, shaking challenge. So I invite you to join me every Saturday for around 30 minutes where we will shake, we will dive into the deep space and then we will end with a small meditation. You can do this every day. Start your day with this and end your day with this. But don't forget to join us every Saturday uh, because when uh, you know we all sit uh, in the same sacred space you know, something starts to change and meditation opens up and our sensations, our vibrations, our pulsations, our sacred sounds, mantras are heard by the stars. And when the stars can hear your call, the stars start to change. And the changing of the stars is the changing of destiny. But the changing of the stars will only happen 
if you sit, if you dissolve yourself into any meditation, into any sacred mantra, in the company of those who are walking the path of Dharma, we call it the Sangha or the Sangat. So the power of the Sangat, we are here for each other and we are sitting with each other, we are breathing with each other, we are chanting with each other and we are shaking with each other. So blessings to you. It was my privilege today to share this sacred space with you. And I hope to see you uh, next week again, same time. Please pass the word around. And we need thousands and thousands and thousands of people from every part of the world. Even if you have never done yoga, just come and shake and just release yourself from yourself. Before we end, there's a beautiful sutra. Siddhaha Swatantra Bhava. Uh, a sage is the one who have freed himself or herself from herself or himself. So this is an opportunity for you to free yourself from your emotions, free yourself from your smallness, and at least for a few seconds or blink of the eye, experience your expansiveness, your expansion. Uh, may Guru Ramdas bless all of you with health, wealth, and prosperity, and the highest gift, the highest gift, the highest gift, and that is to vibrate the sacred Naam, the sacred Shabbat, the sacred frequency, Satna. Blessings to you. I'll see you next week. Satna. Yogi Ji, before we end, is that okay? Yeah, please. I never went to Just uh, to let everyone know, uh, oh. Thank you, Yogi G, and for everyone for joining us today. Um, these, this mini series, these sessions are donation based. So if you'd like to make a donation, please do so at PayPal me slash making over yogi. Another way you can contribute to spreading the teachings, um, as Yogi G spoke of, is simply sharing. So through YouTube, through Instagram. Um, you can also follow him on Facebook. And if you'd like to work with him more closely um, and individually, he also offers spiritual counseling sessions, which you can email support at makingoftheyogi.com to get connected with him uh, for that. And then before we end, I do have uh, one more special announcement, and I'd like to pass it over to Alexi now to make it. Alexi, are you there? I'm so sorry. I forgot to. Alexi, are you there? Yes, it's me. It's me. Yes, yeah, so yes, Satnam. You cannot translate me now, actually. It is no translation. Sorry. It will be a short video. It will be a short video. Yes, you cannot translate because we are in a, in a one space. Um, so, Yogi Amandip, we all know that you had your birthday just recently. And we have a little present to you. So let me show what we came up with. Um, David Kiran, please tell me if something goes wrong, if something doesn't work. But it looks like this. Okay. I think you need sound. Yes, yeah, sorry. Sorry, just again.
Uh, so that's it. We would love to see you again as soon as possible. Thank you. Thank you. So that was the Russian Sangat, you know, very close to my heart. And uh, I've been working with them for many, many years now, and I will say many lifetimes as well. So thank you for that. It was really very nice. And uh, that was a very beautiful surprise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> and um, <clears throat> thank you, everyone, uh, for coming and sitting and sharing the sacred space. And uh, thank you, Devi Kiran, for uh, organizing and uh, taking care of all uh, due to which we are able to uh, sit here today. And uh, Alex, uh, you know, the translations for Russians and Magil for the translation in Spanish. So I appreciate uh, your time and your dedication and all those, you know, I see uh, Lisa and many other beautiful people writing beautiful uh, comments. I really appreciate that. And uh, so if you would like to, you know, offer it in your language or the language that you feel, uh, you know, this Dharma needs to be spoken in your and you would like to keep on adding uh, the different uh, languages so I can keep going and uh, I think we need to come to an end. And again, thank you so much. Uh, may Guru Ram Das bless all of you with health, wealth, and prosperity and the highest gift, and that is the sacred now. Thank you from the core and the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate this. And uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Satnam.